Hey guys, so I'm back with another Halloween look and Halloween is all about the freaky and the freakiest thing that I can think of is snakes. So I'm here bringing you today Snake Face. So I'm starting off with my foundation already done and I'm making sure to take it down my neck as well because I will be continuing the look all the way down. So I'll be using a fishnet stocking again for this look and I use this for my mermaid look which I'll link down below but for this one I'm actually pulling it all the way down my face and going in with the colour tattoo in white. Now this is going to give the scale finish to the skin which is the, the really it's the hero of the entire look so it's just a case of patting that on again like you would a stencil you don't want to smear it you don't want to smudge it you want to get that really scaly finish to the skin now it's not all the way down but sort of taking it across the cheekbones and you want to give your face an elongated look so just covering it and leaving the sides of the face exposed without that scaly finish then it's a case of pulling it off and hurrah it's always a kind of mini celebration when it works. Then I'm going in with just a black eyeliner and a small detailer brush and it's a case of kind of drawing on the highlights of the face. Now this is going to really just sort of give that snaky look to the skin. There's no real method to this madness. It's what looks good to the eye. It's not exactly identical. It's a little bit off center and it's just adding to it until you're happy with it and and really keep going till you're done. Just lots of little crisscross zigzags go with what feels good. Then I'm going back in and I'm just going to start adding a little bit of shadow, just add a bit of depth to the look. Don't forget your chin just to balance out the look completely and again don't forget the neck because this is what's going to make you look more snake-like. I can feel it already. <laughs> Then I'm going in with the Bourjois um, eyeshadows. Now these are a cream shadow but they feel really powdery and this is in an aubergine shade and it's just going through again go with what feels good. I'm not filling in every single one I'm just filling the edges on random curves and just trying to find a really nice balance on all of that. Then it's going in with the same but in a gold shade and just I'm taking it down the edges where I've already coloured and just trying to blend it out and make it look a bit more organic. So just add that gold right the way around the face and you can see it's I'm really, really loving this. Then it's in with the Hula bronzer and you can use any bronzer and it's just taking it down the areas that we haven't put that scale finish on and this is just to try and cancel out as much natural skin colour as possible and to also highlight the snake face and the snake neck. So just really adding depth to the whole look. Now I forgot to actually put colour down my neck so I'm just going back in with the aubergine colour and also the, the white and also the gold just to tie the whole look together. Then it's back in with that eyeliner and here we're just going to fill in the entire eye area. Now it's to give a really sunken in eye look and to really add shadows and this really adds a lot of drama. So I'm taking it right up to the eyebrows and using the eyebrows as my edger and then it's taking it right under the eye as well and just really making an obvious almond shape of my eye area. How it is effective. Then I'm back in with that gold colour and I'm just going to highlight the corners, the inner corners of my eye. I'm going to elongate that as well and this is just adding to elongate the face. Back in with that black eyeliner and just edging that gold just to really define the area.
Now it's time for the nose and here I'm just wanting to make it look really pointed and really reptilian. So just bringing it down into a more pointed um, vertical line and already that is starting to look way sneakier. Then it's just creating a line in the mouth. So just fill in the inner bottom lip and elongate the lips right out to the side of the face. Um, I often found that using a photo of the snake actually helped me as much as it creeped me out to look at the snake, it helped me with the shape of the mouth. And then doing this helped as well. So guys, that is the finished look. It is freaky. It is really way out of my norm. And I don't know if I could dress like this because it would creep me out too much. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped. And until next time, guys, see you later.